Hello, hello everybody. In today's lesson 9.2, we're going to work on estimating lengths in centimeters. And basically it's how do you use known lengths to estimate unknown lengths? All right, so to start this, I want you to get a small strip of paper, okay? And we're going to make a, a simple 10 centimeter strip, okay? I've created mine, but basically it was, all I did was get the cube, unit cube, draw a line, Move it to the right, draw a line, and so on till I had 10, right? Okay, so go ahead and do that. And when you pause the video, create your strip, and then restart the video. After you restarted the video, I want you to find three objects in your class that are smaller or shorter than your 10 centimeter strip. Okay? And then I want you to draw those shapes on page 449. And I want you to just estimate the length of these objects. Now, for the most part, we know that they're going to be less than 10 centimeters, right? Because that's our goal, is to find things that are small enough that they would be less than the length of your strip. Okay? So, for instance, if you found something and it almost was 10 centimeters long, we would call it 10 centimeters, okay? On mine, I would say that these are about 6 centimeters maybe. And actually, as I looked at my objects, they're kind of all about the same size, same length. Paperclip's a little shorter, and the mini stapler I found is about the same length as all of them. So I'm going to say 6 centimeters for all three. Okay, but your estimates might be different. Okay. All right, so let's go to page 450. This pencil is about 10 centimeters long. Which is the most reasonable estimate for the length of the ribbon? Okay, so if the pencil is 10, we have to figure out about how much longer this is. The ribbon is longer than the pencil, right? So seven is not reasonable. So that can't be right. The ribbon is not twice as long as the pencil. So 20 is not reasonable. So the most reasonable answer is 13. Okay, so that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. All right. So let's look at number one. The yarn is about five centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the crayon. All right. So if this is five, right, is the crayon about two times as long as the, the yarn? Yeah, probably. It's probably not three times as long or definitely not four times as long. So, for instance, if I put this here, right, I can guess, okay, move it forward. Yeah, it's about twice. I'm going to say it's about 10 centimeters. All right, this string is about 12 centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the straw. Well, we know it's not barely shorter, so it's not 11. And three, man, I doubt that. That's three is like one, two, three. I don't think three. I'm going to say seven. Okay. All right, let's go to page 451. So this rope is about 8 centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the paper clip. Hmm. To me, it looks like the paper clip is about half as long as this rope. So it's definitely not 8, right? And again, 2 really is too small. 1, 2 maybe? I, I've got to go with 4. Because it does look like if I put another paper clip here, it would be about as long as the rope. This pencil is about seven, 11 centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the chain. So the chain is longer than the pencil, right? So it can't be that one, and it can't be that one. Just common sense tells us that we have to have a number greater than 11. So it's got to be 13. The pair clip is about 7 centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the yarn. Okay, so the yarn is longer than seven, right? So 
But how much bigger than seven? Uh, yeah, how much bigger than seven? Well, I don't think it's twice as much, right? I don't think I could get two of these paper clips to fit here. Our hair clips. So I don't think it's 17 or 22. I'm going to go with 10. Okay, number six. The ribbon is about 13 centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the string. So we're looking for a number shorter than 13. Okay, so it's not 17. And look at the string. It's almost as long as the ribbon. Okay, so it's not 5 centimeters. I'm going to go with 11. Okay. All right, number 7. And I apologize for the ringing on the phone. All right, for each question, circle the best estimate. About how long is a new crayon? Okay, well, a new crayon is about 10 centimeters. About how long is a new pencil? Probably about 20 centimeters. Mr. Lott has 250 more centimeters of tape than Mrs. Sanchez. Mr. Lott has 775 centimeters of tape. How many centimeters of tape does Mrs. Sanchez have? All right, so. We have to try to figure out how much Mrs. Sanchez has. Mr. Lott has 775, which is 250 more than Mrs. Sanchez. So we're going to subtract 250. So 525 centimeters. All right, this feather is about 7 centimeters long. Rachel says the yarn is about 14 centimeters long. Is Rachel correct? Yeah, she's pretty close, right? Is it possible to get two of these feathers? Yeah. Yeah, I would say yes, because it looks like the yarn is about two lengths or two feathers. Okay, so yeah, I would say yes, the yarn is about the length of two feathers. Okay, all right, so that's it for lesson 9.2. So until our next lesson, we will see you soon.